Director for Northern Plains Dance. Good morning to you both ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Great. Okay, so I'm going to go. We have Snow White coming up, right? Yep. So first of all, Heather, can you tell me what a sensory input disorder is? Sure. You're making it sound really like, do I have a sensory yeah. input disorder? <laughs> we all have sort of sensory sensitivities. Okay. Um, we all have things that, that you know, kind of rub us the wrong way or think mm -hmm. like, I hope to avoid that. Mine is played yeah. plugins. If you have a oh, yes. plugin, <laughs> yeah. I will come over and plug <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. 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 No I shame. Do it. Um, and, and so for a lot of kids on the autism spectrum, but a lot of kids not on the autism spectrum, they have a combination of things that makes uh, an environment where they have to sit very quietly and act very appropriately and not make a sound and have the noises be unexpected and loud and the lights do things that they also weren't expecting a harder environment for mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and so Northern Plains really just sort of took the lead and said ha let's cut all of that out um, so that we can offer art for everybody and include everybody yeah. and make it easier. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Such a great idea, Hollis. So, what is the sensory um, sensory friendly performance? How do how do you make a performance sensory friendly? So we do a number of things. Mm -hmm. um, one thing is we shorten the length. Like Heather said, mm -hmm. a lot of times, you know, an hour and a half, two hours is too much to expect yep. out of kids a with lot sensory of kids, input. Yeah. Even Even most without, kids, yeah. right? <laughs> um, but we uh, make sure the music. There's no. Um, like loud noises, everything's mm -hmm. kind of an equal level. We actually leave the lights on in the auditorium so that there's not a difference between where the kids are sitting and the stage. Oh, okay. So there's no big drastic differences that might trigger yeah. a bad reaction. Kids mm -hmm. are welcome to get up and move around yeah. if they get a little restless. It's also a great opportunity for families who might have one child that has a hard time going to stuff like this, but other kids that want to go too, to bring all yeah. of them to the same thing without sort of the anxiety and worry like is this going to go exactly how the yeah. people around what, me yeah. want what it to go. What happens if they want to get up and run around out of their seats, Absolutely. you know. Yeah. You just want everyone to feel welcome, which I think is such a great idea. Yeah. So Hollis, is this the first time that you've done a performance like this or have there been other ones and where did the idea come from? Sure, to... so this is actually our third. Okay. So um, our goal is to do this annually every May with our spring performance, which does change every year. Um, and the, the idea came from um, just talking to people. Yeah. Where where we heard stories like people having a hard time going with their family to mm -hmm. events and sitting with children yeah. in wheelchairs or expecting their kids to be quiet and still. And so we just listened to our customers and yeah. came up with the idea. I yeah. think a brilliant idea, I think, Hollis. So Heather, I can imagine that uh, at Red Door, you hear these stories all the time of you know parents who are like, what do I do? I try to take them out. I try to take them to go do these things. So how have those stories impacted you? And is that where like the partnership kind of came from? Is that, you know, you kind of saw this as well? Absolutely. This is, this is what we do all day, mm -hmm. every day. And so when, when, um, a child is, doesn't feel included or the family doesn't feel like, oh, this isn't quite for us. Yeah. Our problem solving skills are like, how can we help? Yeah. What can we do? Mm -hmm. um, and in our environment, we try to set kids up for success. We give them an idea of what to expect, you know, at a haircut or at a um, movie theater or things like that, the steps for it. And so to have a community partner that was like, we've got all that laid yeah. out for you, that was just such a fun opportunity for then for us to go back to certainly our patient base, but the whole community and mm -hmm. say, look what's available for you without you having to do any work for it. You yeah. just show up like you would yeah. at any other performance. Yeah. And I think it's such a great idea, even with kids without sensory input disorders, mm -hmm. you know, a great way to introduce kids to a play and be like, this is kind of what you can expect, but it's also okay if they get up out of their seat and start Absolutely. running around. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And I think it's important to note that a family doesn't have to be like, well, we don't know if our kid has a sensory yeah. processing issue. Should yeah. we still come? Absolutely, yeah. you should still come because yep. if your child, you know, has sort of enough things that make things like this hard, just consider okay. yourself welcome. Absolutely. Great. Hollis, how do we find tickets? Where can we find more information? Anything sure. Like that? So northernplainsdance.org um, is our website and there, we have a special page for our sensory friendly performances. It's happening on May 7th. Okay. So it's a Tuesday evening and our tickets our tickets are available on our website. Okay. You just need the passcode sensory. Sensory. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Thank you yeah. so much.